Phil Longo, one of six new assistants. Of course, you've got the interim head coach in Matt Luke. First pass is complete. That is DK Metcalf. Patterson with that lightning quick release. Throwing for Brown, incomplete at the four. On second down, little shovel pass. Jordan Wilkins has room across midfield. Into Jaguar territory and finally dragged out of bounds. That time they are finishing off the run. Patterson on the quarterback keeper. Gets a block from Metcalf. And out of bounds. Read from Patterson on the zone read. Screen pass. Here's Brown. Gets a block from Jefferson. And finally taken down, just shy of the 30. Daryl Songi in the middle of that field as a plug. And Jeremy Reeves, their safety number one, as a playmaker indeed. Patterson throwing, and that one off target for Metcalf. Patterson to the air. He's got Van Jefferson inside the 10. Metcalf dangerous here with his size and reach. On the ground, Wilkins fights his way in the program. Jones is the only head coach in program history. Patterson to the air, end zone, touchdown to Marcus Lodge. We're associated with a female escort service, and Matt Luke, who you just saw, took over as the interim head coach. Jay Patterson on first down will slide down. There's a flag on the play. Holding, offense, number 79. Here in Oxford. As Wilkins takes it to midfield. Came the head coach, had won over both sides of the ball. He was the coach that gave the halftime rally speech. Nice job there by DeMarcus Lodge on a dig. And I think if that's the case, Matt Luke will come back as the head coach for the Ole Miss Rebels. J. Brown on third down, able to move. Have his chance to put his stamp on the program. Wilkins on first down, torpedoes ahead into the 25. Because those will eventually go away. It starts with the fact that they are on the same side as Alabama and LSU and the SEC. They're in a fertile recruiting ground. But you see guys like this, Shea Patterson. Line there. It appeared as though he was in bounds to me. See if we can get anything. That foot is probably the one in question. After review, the runner stepped out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Then Matt Luke. Patterson under pressure. Evades the pursuit. He's got running room and out of bounds near the 10-yard line. Passing opportunities and opportunities to pick up yardage on a play that should have been dead. Here's Devon Penniman made the first man miss. DK Metcalf lined up at the top of your screen. And a flag. False start on the offense. Everyone except the center. Long situation. Look for them to pass here. Patterson with time. On the move. Penniman out of the backfield. First and goal inside the five. He didn't do that. He'd run. You can see the development this year, making the right decision and moving the chains on a crucial third and long. Back to Penniman, who fights his way inside the... Wilkins into the game. Patterson pumps twice. Running in circles, buying time. Patterson. Got rid of the ball, but was he taken down first? They say his knee was down. And find an open target. Passing down, third down, South Alabama with four defensive ends. Their leopard package. Patterson threads one to A.J. Brown. Hey. Off to a great start for Penn State. On first down, Ole Miss keeps it on the ground, and it's Jordan Wilkins for a short game. On establishing the line of scrimmage. Patterson to the air, 
DK Metcalf to the 41. You've got to establish a rhythm, Anish, and it's it's really Get important. Get Roddy's answer after this play. Patterson throwing deep downfield for Metcalf. Incomplete. Coaching staff um, for Ole Miss said he could play at any level of football. Preseason, first team all sub belts. That ball was juggled. South Alabama says they have it, and they do. Short field. Excellent job here. The defense from its own 21. Patterson, the sophomore from Shreveport, hands it off. And Jordan Wilkins trip. Alabama, eight minutes to Ole Miss. A little over a minute. Patterson to the screen. Patterson speed option, pitches to Wilkins. And he's got the first down for the Rebels. Over the middle, incomplete intended for defensively. Patterson, there's Quick. He is tackled after a game. Against a four-man rush, Patterson flushed. Looking for Metcalf again, and that is ruled incomplete. Um, though the replays are beneficial, um, but they have no problem asking our truck for a replay where it's real time. After review, the receiver had one foot down and caught the ball. It's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Ole Miss now at the 42 of South Alabama. Patterson over the middle. There is A.J. Brown, slips a defender, and then moves the pile inside. But he still moves like a cat. You saw him there. His cutting ability is exceptional. As he worked his way to get a first down. Penniman breaking tackles into the red zone for Ole Miss. I'm on. South Alabama's done a really good job of tackling until this drive. You saw the missed tackles on the catch by A.J. Brown. A couple of missed tackles on that run as well. Patterson with time. Here's Brown. Takes it inside of the 15-yard line. Patterson. He'll keep. Bounces to the outside. Now circles back around. Patterson has some room on the outside. It, it's a Barry Sanders <laughs> five from the 12. Patterson over the middle. Incomplete. He wanted Van Jefferson. The best quarterback in the SEC when it's all said and done. On first down, Wilkins carries to the 30 for a gain of five. Off play action, A.J. Brown. Patterson sold it, and Brown brings it home. During camp, because he presents such a matchup problem, and Ahmad, take us through what happens here. Well, he's in the slot there on the short side of the field, and oftentimes when you're there, you've got to run a route across the field. But what I love about that route is you see him initially, he almost went underneath the linebacker. Lined up in the slot bottom of your screen. A screen pass here, Van Jefferson tripped up. And you see him there, outstanding open field tackle to drag down the ball carrier. Patterson going long for Lodge. Play a prominent role in the passing game this year opposite DK Metcalf. Patterson. Uh, he's dancing. Buying time. Throws on the run. In traffic. Brown holds it in. Breaks the tackle. A.J. Brown down the sideline. Touchdown. Oh, miss. Field. Working hard for his quarterback and his team. And they said it as we were talking to him. They said this guy presents an entire new problem that defenses have not seen out of Ole Miss. And they are absolutely right. 
I was impressed with his ability to attack the football to then get away from two. A.J. Brown going in motion on the ground. Wilkins with a huge game for Butch Jones, as you said, Anish, on a Labor Day Monday night big game, the nation watching. Little shovel here. Wilkins taken down near the 20 yard line. It's, he's winning nine games, which is not enough there. You're absolutely right, and that's the point I'm making. And you've got to win significant games that count to the fan base as well. Now here's Patterson, a magician. Uh, that time, I think he ran out of tricks. They're going to say he was from your time, your resources, and your effort. Patterson will throw. He's got Metcalf. Slips one tackle. And Metcalf taken down as he two games before a foot injury. Had two catches, both touchdowns. This one comes to Lodge. Using the stiff arm to get free. That buys him about an extra seven or eight yards. Some plays he made. Those are package plays, and Shea Patterson has made the right decision on both of the last two plays. Plenty of time. Near sideline, caught again by Lodge. So you're talking about an offense that has explosive athletes that's finding ways to get it to him. That's a scary thing. Penniman cuts it back to the middle inside the 15. Patterson slings one over the middle, Lodge, he's got his second touchdown, and the Rebels have to still get that ball out of his hands, and you see it here, I mean, watch how quick this is, he fires this thing out, Lodge is at the bottom of your screen, he goes for the play fake, and the next thing you know, he zips this thing on a line, right into the perfect location for Lodge to run through the catch and score a touchdown. There's people listening at home saying, who did he just say? <laughs> Dan Marino. Yeah. Surgery and Joey Jones, the head coach for the Jaguars, told us it's going to be week to week. We've got a flag on the play as Patterson. Illegal formation, more than four in the backfield on the offense. And on that particular time there, even though it being on a first down, Rebels just not ready. Patterson slings one to Metcalf. DK Metcalf, DK Metcalf, that's seven catches now. 82 yards. Patterson running the speed option. He'll pitch it to Penniman. Bulldozers ahead to midfield. And miss Ole Miss ended up five and seven, but that early in the year cemented the ACC's perception as a conference that had taken the next step and didn't really like the way he got off the turf as slow as he did. Penniman. A physical runner are tired of tackling these big bodies at this point in the game. There's old reliable A.J. Brown into the clear. Brown inside the 10. It's like they are. You're just trying to find a break and trying to gasp for air. They won't find it here. Penniman finds the end zone. Guys around um, uplifting his teammate. Shea Patterson is turning into a leader and a dynamic playmaker for the Rebels. Eric Swing. Lead by example, he had to be vocal. They had a warm-up that was supposed to take five minutes long that required communication, and it didn't start. Rebels debut at Kyle Field. Throws incomplete there. A while against Western Michigan. Ed Orgeron for LSU sort of rode that populist train to the head coaching job. And for a, a, a head coach currently who has some SEC experience, you know, Mike Bobo comes to mind out at Colorado State. Frank, who was at, at Georgia for a long time. Frank will currency built up in this community and with this program. There's a lot of folks who want to see him take control of this job and try to be successful with it. Why not give you if you're in the Western Division, what you're hoping is is that Shea Patterson does not have a night where he goes bonkers and bananas on you. And done. And I think this conference fears when you see him on the schedule. And this is DK Buford, and I want to make clear you're not basing that Starkville. Ten bowl teams from last year on the schedule. 
Only Notre Dame and Syracuse play more, 11 apiece for those two.